Hello and welcome to Colleague 7 Sprint Plan for 20.04.02. This will cover the work undertaken between the 14th of April to the 27th of April. Our sprint goal for this sprint is to update the documents received area with PARS and long list workflow, as well as the option to copy long listed candidates from one requirement to another. Looking at the high level items and to explain further, in this sprint, we're planning to introduce the ability to parse and long list from the documents received area. This will allow you to specify the requirements and then parse the candidate. As part of this process, it will then register the candidate and long list them to the select requirement in one workflow. We'll also be looking to add another long list option to the candidates tab of requirements so that you can copy selected long listed candidates from one requirement to another. Within the back office area, we'll be adding a sense column to the list invoices table. We'll be moving the GDPR consent wording out of the global settings area and placing it under templates so that it becomes its own template location. Within the search, we'll be removing the save as option until results are shown, as this is linked with multiple bugs. We'll be fixing an issue when using the back, up, back to search link uh, if you use the add current results to search result option, as currently this sends you back to the candidate search every time. We'll be ensuring invoices that have been deleted via the undo invoices workflow have their associated invoice documents removed. We'll be ensuring you can only run the spec CV to contacts workflow from a contact search when a candidate record has been linked. As carryovers from the previous sprint, the formatting of the address merge field will be worked on so this appears as expected when in the desktop word application. And we'll apply an alert so that users are warned when they're using images being remotely hosted within their emails as this creates a security issue and a bad request error will appear when sending. As always, if you have any queries or feedback, please get in touch. I'll be keen to hear from you. Also, for those using Colleague 7, feel free to submit your past requests by the support team or directly to me using the above email address. The next video will be the sprint review based on this development sprint. And as part of that, I'll include some quick demonstrations on the new functionality that's been added. Thanks for watching.